Hi, I'm Lee Iridium. I hope you're doing all right today. Reaction time. Oh, man, I've been waiting for this. The third single from the Dark Hauled. Now, you may have checked out my other couple of reactions to the couple of songs. Oh, man, this album. Well, it's got to be the one that I'm really, really excited for at the moment. More than any other that's going to be released for the rest of this year. For anyone that doesn't know, um, the Dark Hall is a band that are bringing out a concept album called The Calling. Um, now, it's going to be brought out near the end of this month. I think there's, there's not an exact date yet, but it's going to be around the end of this month. Um, now, this is an Australian band um, and actors, by the way, because it's a concept album. It's based on a book um, from a guy called Bruin. And he, he had an award-winning horror novel, The Dark Horde. It says here it was set in southeastern Australia in 1989. So this is like a prequel, I believe, based on the book. And the two songs so far, <laughs> it's just, they're amazing. So you had Mask, first of all, which was a full-blown metal track. It was just, just blew my mind. And it's weird how I found that. It came up on my Facebook. I don't know if you guys remember it came up as a um, suggested video to watch. Played a few seconds. Thought, oh, that sounds good. Done a reaction. Oh, and it just blew my mind. It, it really did. It's just everything you want from a metal track on this concept album. The next track was completely different called Childhood, where it had narration from some great actors. Um, the little boy especially just blew my mind with his acting on this, on this um, track, um, Childhood. And I'm so excited about this. This is going to be headphones on when you get the album in the dark. It's going to blow your mind. It's going to creep you out a little bit, probably. But I, I can just guarantee this album is going to be just top notch from what I've heard so far. So it features some great musicians and some I've heard in other bands. Um, Danny Sicati, he's on the vocals. He's in the band Wicked Smile that have got an amazing album coming out again this month, later this month. Um, one, that's going to be one of the albums of the year. The band sent me that early and I was just blown away by that as well. It's just brilliant. You've got also Sean Ferrugia. He's also on the vocals, does some vocals on this. Um, you've got Hani uh, Mohammed. I think he's the main source behind the songwriting on this. I, I think he's the main driving force beyond the actual music. I might be wrong, and the whole concept, and Logan Jacobs as well. Um, so, I've got to give a shout out to the artwork so far. So you've had a brilliant bit of artwork on each single. Um, on Mask, you had this great horror demon type thing with his hands over his face like this. Have a look, have a look at that if you get a chance. Childhood had a, just a brilliant uh, bit of artwork with a little boy. Looked like a werewolf coming to grab him through a door, which just blew my mind as well. And now this has got some amazing artwork, which you'll be able to see over there somewhere. So the artwork is by a guy called um, Aldo Reguina. And it, everything about it so far has just captured my imagination from the artwork to the songs, to the whole story behind it being based on a novel and a prequel to a novel. And it's just... And even... I've talked about Australian horror and it, it, that's just amazing as well. They make some of the best films, horror films for sure. I've watched some brilliant ones in the past. Um, so everything about it is just captured my imagination. It really has. And I really think this is going to be one of the best albums of the year and joining my long list, obviously, <laughs> of albums of the year. <laughs> this year has been amazing for music. It really has. And I think this is just something that's going to give me something completely different compared to everything else. I think that's why I'm getting excited. It's the whole concept horror thing. So it looks like it's going to come out near Halloween, which is going to be <laughs> just pretty much perfect. I honestly, the band told me this song was coming out um, on a certain date. I wrote it in my little diary of things I try and keep a track of. And I've just been like, now and again, I have a little look. Oh, there it is. I've been so excited about hearing this. And um, I can't wait.
So I'm going to get on with this. The Dark Horde and Victim. This is the third single. I believe the last single before the album actually comes out. Here we go. What a brilliant song. So this is full-blown, just metal, almost. I mean, it's almost classic, priest, painkiller-esque riffing going on. I don't know if you agree with me there. That sort of riffing going on. I absolutely love it. The vocals, man. Oh, I, you can, I love the fact that you can... They've both got that real theatrical, powerful sort of voice. Um, classically trained type voice by the sounds of it. But I love the fact that they're, you know, they're both like that. You can hear the difference when the, when the second vocalist came in, obviously, but they've both got fucking brilliant voices. I mean, man, what more can you want from a metal song? And just, this sort of gives me those feels. I'm not going to compare it to the greatest um, concept album of all time, which was Operation Mindcrime, by the way. Um, but on that album, you had, it weren't just, and I'm getting the, these sort of feel, this is what I'm talking about. In, within Operation Mindcrime, um, you did have those little snippets of music and that, didn't you? I'm not, not sure if you're going to get that on this and the little talking parts. But they had songs on that album that stood alone, you know, that stood alone as great songs. So you could listen to them on their own. You know, it, you didn't have to listen to, although the, the great way to listen to it would, was always from beginning to end. That's the perfect way to listen to a concept album. There's no doubt about that. But every single song, especially the full length songs, stood on their own as great songs. And that, how hard is that to, to do that as a concept album, but bring those songs in individually as well? They were, they're just as fucking great. And that's how I feel about this. 
imagine if you just heard this and it wasn't on a concept album, you, it'd blow your mind on its own. And now, imagine it with all those other songs, the two that have, I've heard so far. And it's fucking got me so excited. It's just brilliant. I fucking love it. It's just everything you want from a metal song, but with that horror concept as well. Absolutely great. I have noticed, as I talked about the artwork earlier on, you're probably thinking I mucked up saying about the second bit of artwork, had the, the werewolf demon trying to grab the kid. The kid was facing the door. I just... just to avoid confusion in the second check out that bit of artwork and obviously now the demon's coming through the door to get him just in case you thought i mucked up the artwork <laughs> i'm just covering my own ass there but um i just love absolutely everything about what i've heard so, everything i've heard so far even the second single that mainly like two-thirds of it at least if not more was narration it just got in the edge and I just thought, I just can't wait to hear this. I, it's just blowing my mind, it really is. This one is similar to the first track where you just full-blown metal. So, you know, it's just, it's just brilliant. These vocalists as well, and the guitar in, that riffing, and everything about it, the drums and the bass, it's just perfect. The, the production is just spot on. It's so clear and sharp and bright. It's everything you want from a metal production. Here we go for the rest of this. just brilliant i mean i i'm getting a bit frustrated now <laughs> because i'm just thinking like how big would this concept album have been years ago i mean i don't know i hope it catches on and people really like you know start to realize the brilliance of the three songs so far and then the brilliance that the album's going to be i mean the physical copy of this album with the artwork and the story behind it, I noticed the lyrics, by the way, before I forget, are by Bruin as well. So he, uh, he's obviously not just written the book. I think he's gone back and written the lyrics for the album as well. Or at least this song or probably the album. Um, I just think this would have been huge. The whole horror concept thing. You know, if metal was as popular today as it was years ago. Would this have been seen as a classic concept album it probably will be in my mind you know but it needs more people to get behind this sort of thing and support it and buy it and just it, it catch on it really will i just think it needs that now i get really frustrated when i hear music as good if not better today than the times we look back at 
you know, in the 80s. We go on about the 80s all the time and how brilliant that was. But listen to this. Listen to the music we're getting right now. It's as good as anything in the 80s, if not better. So, you know, let's just, let's just support bands like this. Anyone who's watching this video, and I know it's not going to be millions and millions, but some of, it sometimes rolls, it steamrolls some of this stuff, you know, when people start talking about it. And what a concept, what a real dark horror concept. Australian, which is fucking great. Um, some people mistake me for Australian. <laughs> when I'm talking on these videos, Americans think I'm Australian, but there you go. Um, the Dark Hold, Victim, the third single, the album I can't fucking wait to hear. What do you think of this song on its own or within a concept? I mean, it's gonna, it's gonna, it's fucking brilliant. Comments below, please, what you think of this song. I'll see you next time.